Welcome to an instructional how-to video brought to you by ClearConnects on how to update the firmware and load an application on the Maestro M100 Evo. The tool we're going to use is ClearTerminal, brought to you by ClearConnects, an innovative engineering services firm that combines products, services, and strategic partnership to build custom and embedded M2M -M devices which allows you to start ahead and finish ahead on any project. Today I'm going to be updating the firmware using AT commands on the application Clear Terminal over a serial connection. The firmware for the M100 Evo is available from the Sierra Wireless website. I'm going to start by creating some hotkeys that will be useful for this process and in general when working with Sierra Wireless products. The first is AT plus WOPEN equals zero, which will stop the running application. The next is AT plus WDWL, which will start the transfer. Next is AT plus CFUN equals 1, which will reset the modem. Last is AT plus WOPEN equals 1, which will restart the application. Now that clear terminal is set up, let's check the current firmware version using ATI3. That is an older version of the firmware than I would like, so I'm going to update to a newer version. To do so, I'm going to stop the running application and start the download process. Now choose the bootloader from the firmware you want for the file system and wait for the download to complete. I will fast forward through the download process. Once the download is finished, I will reset the modem. Now I'll start the download process for the firmware. I will fast forward through the download process. Again, once the download completes, I will reset the modem. Now that it's back up, I now check the firmware version using ATI3 again. And see the upgrade process was successful. Now I'm going to show you how to load an open AT application onto the M100 Evo. I'm going to demonstrate that process using ClearCom, developed by ClearConnects, a mature, proven, hardware-agnostic platform that can be loaded onto any off-the-shelf modem or added to a custom-designed hardware, which can result in cost and time saving. This process is very similar to upgrading the firmware. I'll be making sure the application is not running and then starting the download process. And then I'll choose my application image from the file system and wait for the download to complete. Again, I will fast forward to the download process. When the download finishes, I will reset the module, wait for it to reboot, and then start the application. Now I will check the application version and see that the download was successful. This concludes our instructional video for Clear Terminal and ClearCom. Please visit us at www.clearconnects.com to stay current in all things clear connects.